Hey, I'm Matthew with McCulley's Golf Cards in Crossfield, Tennessee. Um, a common problem that I get calls about a lot is um, somebody's been gone for a few months, their charger has been plugged up the whole time, they get home, they unplug the charger, they get in the golf cart and try to go, but their cart is dead. Um, it's a misconception for most golf cart chargers like these here, uh, these are the chargers that would typically come with most golf carts. And uh, while they while they are automatic chargers, um, in that they cut off automatically, they don't automatically sense where the batteries are and keep kicking back on and off. Um, in order to maintain your batteries. So after a month or two months of being gone or say you're gone for the winter and you come back, a lot of times if your batteries, especially if they're a little bit older, they're going to drain down so low that the old chargers won't kick back on. So I'm going to show you how to bring them back up to charge with a 12 volt automotive charger. So for this you can use almost any uh, 12 volt automotive charger. Ours has multiple positions that you can select. Um, can't really get it to focus here. But anyway, I don't know if you can read this well, but we're going to use this 35 amp fast charge setting. Um, that'll work just fine. But if yours if yours has like a 15 amp or a 20 amp setting, that'll do just fine for what we're going to do. So, this is a 48 volt cart with 8 volt batteries. With an 8 volt battery, you can't charge it with a, a 12 volt charger um, on just one battery, otherwise it would overcharge the batteries. This applies also to the 6 volt setups with the 36 volt batteries. So, what we're going to do is Take your first positive right there and connect the 12 volt charger lead to the first positive. Now, we're not going to charge one battery at a time, so we're going to skip that negative, follow the cable to the next positive, and then we're going to take this negative battery charger cable and hook it to the second battery's negative. So you see you got two batteries in series between these two alligator clamps. And then we would switch it on and you'd let that go for about 30 minutes and then switch your charger off and then you would move it to the next series of two batteries. So you would take move the negative two batteries and the positive two batteries. So once again you have the positive of one battery skip one negative, skip one positive into the negative of the next battery. Now, this won't charge these batteries completely because these are 8 volt batteries and um, this is a 12 volt charger so uh, the most you'll get across two batteries is 12 volts but after you do this three times, so you have a set here, a set here, and then a set down there. After you do it three times, uh, what you'll end up with is approximately 36 volts across all of these batteries and that's enough that you can plug in your factory charger and it'll kick on and it'll do the rest of the charge and you want to leave that charging um, really until it kicks off you, you want to give it a good full charge after being down that low um, and uh, hopefully they'll come back to life and, and stay charged really well however it's not really good to let your batteries drain low enough that the charger wouldn't come on. So there is a chance that these batteries will not come back to life and that you will have to replace them. 
Um, but hopefully this, if, if there is a way to bring them back, this is a good way to try. Once again, uh, your batteries may not come back from a charge if they've dropped that low, especially if they're an older set of batteries. So if you do end up replacing your batteries, um, it's a big investment and you want to protect your investment by having a good charger. Now, all of the uh, factory chargers are automatic in that they'll kick off when they need to kick off, but they won't kick back on to keep your batteries charged. We have a charger um, that will maintain your batteries so even if you're gone for long periods of time, uh, you don't have to worry about coming back to a situation like this. So give us a call and we can make sure and set you up with the right charger. Um, or stop by our office if you're local to Crossfield, Tennessee. And uh, we would love to show you uh, what charger will be best for you. So uh, thank you. And if we've helped you at all with this video, please give us a thumbs up or subscribe. Also check it out on our uh, troubleshooting section on our website that we'll be posting very soon and that's at uh, McCulley'sGolfCars.com Thanks!